everybody, this is Boomy Moore and I'm here today in Richmond, Virginia with a gentleman who just hopped out of a truck and I don't even know his name. So, as we get started, who are you and where are you from? My name is Willie Tucker, I'm from Georgia. Alright, Willie Tucker from Georgia. I'll be in Georgia doing a seminar on October the 17th. What part of Georgia are you from? Douglas, Georgia. Douglas, is it near Atlanta anyway? No, nah, it's like three hours south of Atlanta. Three hours south of Atlanta, okay. Well, Douglas decided that he wanted to be in my video. He does not know what I'm going to be talking about today. So, Douglas, first thing I want to find out from you is, are there any goals that you had in your life that you have not reached yet? As far as? Any, any type of goals. Yeah. Health goals, financial goals, relationship goals, any types of goals that you haven't reached yet? All of them. All of them, okay. Yeah. Give me one or two. Financial goals. Financial goals, okay. All right. All right, so give me one of your financial goals that you aspire to but you haven't reached yet. Buying a house. Okay, so Douglas wants to buy a house. I'm sorry, <laughs> from Douglas. Willie from Douglas wants to buy a house. I'm sorry. Okay. So, if there were a way for me to help you to buy a house, would you think that'd be a pretty cool thing? Yeah. It would? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, first of all, do you have any idea of where you want this house to be? Mm, basically, in the country, on a little piece of land. Okay. All right. And about what size do you want the house to be? Mm, something like maybe three, four bedrooms. Three, four bedrooms. Maybe Tell me about a little bit more about it. 1,500 square feet. 1,500 square feet, okay. Oh, like an acre of land. An acre of land, cool, cool, okay. And what type is the outside? Is it brick? Is it aluminum siding? Is uh, it what? Half brick, half aluminum. Half brick. Uh, so it's side. brick front, brick front. Yeah, and, and vinyl siding. siding. Yeah. Okay, all right. And what, what color do you see the house? Uh, sort of like a, uh, I see like a beige, a beige uh, color on the vinyl and the shuttles are like dark brown. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. And how many bathrooms? Uh, two bathrooms, uh -huh. um, master bathroom, mm -hmm. so you're saying three bathrooms. Okay, three bathrooms. Full size. Full size. Um, master bedroom, walk-in closet, mm -hmm. uh, garden tub. Okay. Uh, chandeliers in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. <laughs> tell, me about the, uh, uh, tell me about the kitchen. Any type of granite or? Uh, I wanted marble, of... marble floors in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, sort of like a, uh, uh, like a brownish marble on the floor, square, um, titanium. Okay. Uh, island good. in the kitchen. Island in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. He got, so he has the picture. Yeah. Now, what do you think has prevented you from getting this house this far? Um, having met the right company of trying to uh, establish or making the right money to establish myself in that future. Okay. So, so money has been your challenge for getting yeah. the house. Okay. Yeah. And so. Um, what if I told you that you could get this house, but you didn't need money right now to start getting the house? Let me know how to do it. Let you know how to do <laughs> it. Okay. All right. Well, let me tell you, you're well on your way because remember how you just painted that image of that yeah. house with me? Yeah. That's how you get your house. Okay. The way you get your house is by creating the image of what you want in your mind. Mm -hmm and holding on to that image okay. in total, complete faith and belief that what you see is going to be yours. Okay. And when you do this, and when you get into your dream, mm -hmm. that dream is a seed that you're planting for your future destiny. Okay. okay, okay. So this is what I'm saying. See this space you got right here, the six inches in between the, yeah. your head? That right there is a powerful creative tool and a creative force. Okay. The power of your mind. Okay. And when you can create and hold images in your mind of what you want, mm -hmm. you can absolutely unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, bring what you want to you. That's right. So there was one point where I didn't have a house. Mm -hmm. I was living in Section 8 with um, four kids and was pregnant with the fifth. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted a home on three acres in a really nice neighborhood, but I did not have the money for, okay. for it. So I was maybe I was worse off than you are. All right, I didn't have the money, but I had the dream. Okay. So what you start doing is even before the money shows up, you start taking steps towards your dream. Okay. So you need to start. Have you started touring any homes? Yeah, okay. I do it every now and then. I look and online. Then. Okay. Uh, um, good. Uh, look at uh, like building people building homes. Uh, good, good, good. 
uh, went to Ryan's home. Okay. We looked at a couple of different models they had. Awesome. So, awesome. You know. So I need you to stay in that space. Okay? okay. So I need you to keep on doing that. Okay. So keep on going to the model homes. Keep looking around and you say, oh, that's, that's my marble. Oh, that's my tile. Oh, I can see this in my house. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you keep doing that okay. to pull that in. That's really important. Then the other thing I want you to do is, do you have a vision board? No. Okay. I need you to create a vision board. Okay. I need you, because as humans, we are teleological by nature. We move towards what we see and what we think about. Mm -hmm. So I need you to always have that home in front of your eyes. So okay. I need you to cut out pictures, go look through magazines, or when you tour homes, get the books. And you cut out a picture of what your house looks like, and I need you to put it up on a board, on your vision board. Okay. And all the things you want in your house, I want you to put on this board. Okay. So when you get up in the morning, you go to the kitchen, you see your board, and you're thinking about your home. Okay. Before you go to sleep at night, maybe you have a picture of the home on your night table, on your bathroom mirror, or something like that. Okay. So you're thinking about this home. Okay. Right? Yep. So what you are doing is, you are connecting your vibration, mm -hmm. the frequencies of all the cells in your body, mm -hmm. towards what you want. And so what's going to happen is as you go throughout your daily life, mm -hmm. you're going to start meeting the people and attracting the situations and circumstances and conditions that are in harmony with your desire, okay. with this new home. Okay. okay. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, but in time you get a promotion and you end up getting more money that will help you to get that house that you want. Mm -hmm. Or you start finding increased favor, you meet somebody who says, oh, you know what? I've been really looking for somebody to sew into or to really help and I have a way that you can get a discount on a home where you don't need as much credit as you thought you need. Any kind of uh, 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 unimaginable circumstances, I want you to leave yourself open for this house to come to you in non-traditional ways, okay. okay? So don't, so I want you to think outside of the box. Okay. Don't think, oh man, I gotta have the right credit. Credit is good, yeah. but you don't have to have. Don't think, oh, I gotta have all 20% savings. Mm -hmm. It's good to have savings, but you don't have to have it. Okay. Because the universe will conspire in your favor. Okay. All manner of miracles will start to happen and bring you your desire if you are open to it. Does that make sense? That make a lot of sense. You said Willie, right? Yep, Willie. Okay, Willie. So, number one, I want you to create the picture. Okay. You hold the image of your house in your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I want you three times a day, at least three times a day, to make sure that you focus on this image. Okay. So before you get out of bed at night, I want you to see yourself in your house. Can you see your close your eyes for a minute? Can you see yourself? Hold, hold, hold the uh, knob of the door, mm -hmm. and I want you to walk inside your house. Walk inside the house. And look around. Mm -hmm. Come back so you can get into the camera. Okay. <laughs> look around the house. Okay. Is it beautiful? It's beautiful. Is it yours? It's mine. You see the awesome furniture? Yes. Do you have a theater room? No. You don't have a theater room? Okay. Do you have a man cave where you go watch football? Oh, you said theater room? room? Theater room. Yeah, it's you downstairs. Got you got that theater I room. I got a theater room. Uh -huh. I got the uh, the uh, sports room. Oh, yeah. With a big screen TV. Yes. I got the uh, dining room. Yes. You know, the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Uh, the talk room. Yes. I'm gonna have a talk room talk like room. where people come and visit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so I got all that. You got all that? Got all all right. That. So I need you to see that every day, like three times a day. Okay. You get into that space. I need you to start talking about it, right? Okay. But don't talk about it to negative people, because negative people be like, Oh man, how you gonna get that? Oh man, you still making the same thing I make. I can't afford it, you can't yeah. afford it. So you don't share your dream with negative people That's right. who make you put doubt into That's your right. mind. Because right. doubt will try to creep in. Mm -hmm. And when I doubt creeps in, I want you to tell it, shut up. That's right. Tell doubt, shut up. That's Say right. that. Say shut up. Shut up, doubt. Shut up, doubt. That's, shut right. Up, doubt. That's right. Any type of doubt, any yeah. type of negativity, <laughs> yeah. any type of fear or worry, you just say, look, just shut up okay. and kick that to the side. Okay. So I need you to live in total, complete faith okay. that is already yours. And don't even think, oh, I'm going to get it. Think it's mine. It's mine. Say it's mine. It's mine. Say that house is mine. That house is mine. That acre is mine. That acre is mine. Say it. I own it. I own it. It's mine. It's mine. All right. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Three times a day. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my phone number, right? Okay. I'm going to check up on you. Okay. I want you to check up on me. Okay. Okay? Because you're going to give me a testimony of moving into the house. But i got to help you to stay accountable and stay on track. Okay. So you create the image. Mm -hmm. You hold that image in your mind. Okay. With 100% faith that you already have it. Okay. All right? And you walk 
confidently in the direction of your dreams. Okay. So you're looking at the model homes and you're talking to the people and you're talking to the realtors. They don't know what you have or what you don't have. You going around, you looking for land. Yeah. You know, if you see if a sale sign, you call it. Don't okay. say, oh, I don't have the, I don't have the money. You call it. Okay. And you start talking and you ask questions as if you're already going to have it. Okay. All right. And you're going to see some amazing things happen in your life. Okay. All, right? All right. I promise you. All right. This is Aya Bowie Moore. You're Miracle Manifester. Did you know you are more powerful than you know? Oh, you have are told more me that. powerful <laughs> than you know. So I'm going to give you my card. Put my cell phone number on there. All okay. right, that's what you're going to call me. And remember, the quality of your thinking determines the quality of your life. Okay. All right? And you a, uh, a personal development speaker. speaker and coach. Okay. All right? And I will. All right, so this has been Willie and Boomy live. You're going to see yourself on YouTube. One day, we're going to take a tour of Willie's house. Yes. See you at the top. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is neat.